Uh, first poem is called Black Ice on the Bridge. Yeah. Acts have no meaning, but they do have trajectory. The string quartet waxes the mustaches of its accusers. Innocence has no meaning, but it does have motive. When the lamprey pond overflows, the pole beams will require stanchions. Appetite has no meaning, but it does have velocity. The last handful of anthracite coal is smelted in view of the Opium Museum. Marriage has no meaning, but it does have pedigree. The box turtle in the intersection tries as the twilight worsens to back up. Mystery has no meaning, but it does have gristle. Fog spreads across the mustard grass with no regard for the black ice on the bridge. I knew I needed to visit a beach made entirely of shark's teeth. And on that beach, I knew I would find ivory binoculars left by a vegan birder. And with those binoculars, I knew I could see into the windows of a shoreline luncheonette. And in that luncheonette, I knew I'd find my step-uncle propositioning a leggy waitress. And I thought of my aunt, her failing eyes, a thousand miles away on a dirty beach, looking for signs of onyx-colored birds. And I knew I had to visit that beach for I too wanted to see those birds, and I had the binoculars necessary. And this one is called My Books. My books wound you. They wound me too. They are those undullable knives they sell on TV, shards of glass you can pick up only with gloves to which are glued shards of glass. They are a rain of pins a bed short-sheeted and stuffed with nettles, a nylon backpack of burrs, all the pinches Prospero inflicted on soft Caliban, all the false promises he made to resilient Ariel. In the middle of the night, I hear them groan. They are torturing each other. They use their spines as swords. What do they want? What does torture ever want? screaming information. Quick, toss your books. The milk has turned. Ah! 